Morning everybody, it's Ricky Nowis here and welcome to episode 33 of Rick's The Diaries. It is Wednesday the 26th of June and the time's just gone quarter past 8 in the morning and for today's journey, well, I'm taking my first ever trip down to Merseyside. Yep, I'm off to Liverpool today. The idea is we're going to cover Liverpool Lime Street, Liverpool South Parkway, we're also going to cover the sides of Liverpool and also the Merseywell network. So the journey, we'll cross to start Scarborough Station, we're going to catch the 0845 Transpanine Express all the way through to Liverpool Lime Street. She get to Liverpool for around about half past 11. Our train coming back, we're going to catch the last train coming back, which will be 1955, back to Scarborough. And also you may have noticed, that's uh, got some new clothes. Yep, yeah, bought some new gear. Anyway, it is a bit of a chilly morning here at Scarborough. We had um, very strong gusty winds and rain recently. But the weather at Liverpool, it's going to be 20 degrees. So it's going to be nice and hot. Oh, the, the other reason for this trip, it's because it's the home of the famous band from the 60s, you may remember, the Beatles. Well, hopefully we might just we might just see the yellow submarine. So, in the meantime, let's get cracking.
Ladies and gentlemen, she likes to speak. It's a 1056. Trust my express service goes through to Liverpool Lime Street. Lee Green and Liverpool Lime Street. Lee Green, next station. Yeah, man. And then, uh, Twitch Bench. Liverpool Lime Street, you're trying to learn. Just come back. Cross seat reservations, Coach A. Can be found at the rear. Beats the centre, Coach C's at the moment. Thank you. Pennine Express service to Liverpool Lime Street, calling at Lee Green and Liverpool Lime Street. The next stop will be Lee Green. Ladies and gentlemen, you can have to speak once you come into Liverpool Lime Street where the service terminates, but there are just a few moments of time. Leave a train, please take great care. Step to the platform, have a good look around, make sure you take care of your luggage and personal ones if you please. Thank you, gentlemen, Transpire Express. Just come into Liverpool Lime Street without just a month's time, I'm with service to Right, Stafford, we're now at Bridge. Liverpool Lime Street, Water it's Hampton, just gone midday. This announcement Birmingham you're hearing now Mom is for the 1205 London Northwestern Western Hampton, Railway Service to Birmingham, Birmingham New, Tarkill, sorry, to London East of Van, Birmingham New Street. Rugby, this is my timetable, London Northwestern North Railway are now running Northampton, through there. Central, anyway, Hampton, let's have a look at Super Hampton, Band Station. Watford Junction and London Euston. This train is formed of four coaches. We've got a class First 323 class down there. Available on the train. Uh, and just one spanning there, we've got a Northern class 319. London Northwestern Railway service to London Euston.
before I was just interrupted there, that was the late running Eastman Strait service to Norwich. Now the 156s are red on that diagram. Well the 156 I'm guessing will come up at Notts again while well, the 158 continues to Norwich. So anyway, trains from here. Uh, you get trains, you can see variety of uh, Northern, these have been the trains, London of Western Railway and Vision trains. Um, Headed variety destinations including London Euston with London of Western this Railway headed by uh, Birmingham New Street. Uh, you get Northern services service to Wigan of Western, Mortimer Bank Key, Manchester Park, Airport, Manchester Oxford Road, lo local stopping. Uh, you also get services through to Crewe by Manchester Piccadilly. This is the platform alteration. Uh, the and of course Transpline services heading for Manchester Newcastle Airport, and for Scarborough. So I've spent, spent about an hour and a bit here. Then I think what we'll do is that we'll go on the Merseyville network and we'll go up to Liverpool South Parkway. Kill a bit of time there. The so far it's uh, a lovely hot, lovely day and the temperature's certainly going up. If I were going to London Euston until around about 4 o'clock ish I'm guessing because of most intermediate stations along the way. I mentioned hopefully you can see a brand new train operator here today because transports for Wales now operates between Liverpool Lime Street and Chester. Platform 8 will be the 1236 
transport for Wales service to Chester via of the 1236 Transport for Wales service to Chester via Rumcall.
right. It's almost 10 past 1 now. Now we're going to do, I'm actually now going to head on the Mersey Well, then head to Liverpool South Parkway.
Okay, it's just gone quarter to three. We're at Liverpool South Parkway. Just had a um, policeman call to me, and that's if I've seen any kids on the line. That could explain why trains are delayed. Message to every message to everyone: Don't trespass on the line. Just don't do it. Don't risk your life. You might have seen it. Some other people do it, or they tell you stories. Just don't do it. Just don't trespass. Yeah, but fate, fate 7 was a big surprise. Gave an absolute hellfire through the station. Go film here to one more quarter past three. Then head back on the Mersey. Spend some time on there, and then we'll do some sightseeing as well in Liverpool. Okay, it's 15.04 now, we'll call it stop session there. Just going to have, have my late lunch and then we'll get cracking on the Mersey well. we we'll go on the Mersey to Hunts Cross and then back into Liverpool, explore some sites. Where are you going to make the most of it today? Just over here is Allerton Depot. Got 323. Favourite last year, 1954331. Again, down there, we've got 319 there. Another 319, 323 in the depot.
Okay, so we just know Princess Dock. It's 20 past 4. And just have a look at this magnificent machine. This is called the Seven Seas Navigator. And unmistakably, the word is huge. Absolutely beautiful. And I think they've got three lifeboats on there. It is incredible. Well, yeah, I think you can sail from here, go to the Isle of Man, I think you can go to Guernsey on that as well. So, we'll spend a little bit of time sightseeing, just a little bit of time. My train is due out until 19.50, so we've got absolutely plenty of time before we have to go home. But so far, it's been an absolutely stunning day here in Liverpool. For those who haven't been, I really do recommend that you come down here, because it has got a lot to offer. But yeah, I think, um, like I said, we'll spend a little bit more tight sightseeing. Then afterwards, I think we'll head on the Merseywell. And we'll just um, get a few more reds, a few more shots on the Mersey, and then we'll, we'll head on. So far, the day is great. Just gone half past five. I'd like to spend the rest of the time on the Mersey Rail.
approaching Bilston. Please change here for station to Wrexham. Okay, we've just arrived at Bidston. It's now 5 to 6 in the evening. Now this station, I shall point out, is also the terminus of Transport for Rail Services, which they serve Wrexham General, uh, by Wrexham Central. Uh, it runs hourly, and it's normally operated by a Class 150 DMU Sprinter unit. Anyway, uh, this is one of many ways well operate stations on this line. Uh, so you've got trains heading for West Kirby, Liverpool, Cent Liverpool Central as well, and you can change here for. Give me a minute. The Borders Line. So, shall I say, bo Borderlands Line? So. We spend a little bit of time here, then we must think about getting back to Liverpool Lamb Street. Then we're trying to catch. Uh, we're going to be catching the 1950 uh, Trans Express service back to Scarborough, and that is the last one out of Liverpool. And for those who are interested in filming on the Merseyrail network, you then you don't need to be worried. Because Merseyrail are easy on train enthusiasts, they allow them on any station anywhere. It's absolutely no problem of them. Of course, there's some staff stations you might have to tell them that you are, you know, just filming, doing what you're doing, you know. But hey, you know, but hey, I have to say, I thought Merseyrail was so generous, so thanks for that, Merseyrail. Oh, and, he, and the other reason for this trip was because we could say farewell to to the 507 and 508 EMU, EMUs because the new EMUs will be coming into service in the very near future.
trains in the background. Here comes our train just terminated in from Scarborough. This will form the 1956 Transpennine service to Scarborough. Calling us the Green, Manchester, Victoria, Huddersfield, Leeds, York, Walton, Seema, and Scarborough. Let's go drive with Terry and Scarborough for approximately 22 35. And our chat this evening is going to be 185 122.
Transpennine Express Service to Scarborough, calling out York, Malton, Seema and Scarborough. The next stop will be York. For your safety and security, this train is fitted with CCTV. Please keep your belongings with you or in sight at all times. If you notice anything suspicious, please speak to... Just got back it's now 5 to 11 in the evening after almost a 15 hour day but it's been worth it so let's conclude it um, we started the journey off this morning aboard the 0845 Chad's planned express service to Liverpool Lamb Street uh, that was a really good ride um, thought it was busy actually uh, with the exception between York and Leeds. But yeah, got down to Liverpool. Absolutely no problem at all. Got there spot on time. There for Liverpool Ham Street. Uh, we signed in and got filming straight away. It is a bit of a prob problematic station. Uh, because obviously got, uh, you've got long platforms. But you've also got like, high fencing. And of course, sometimes it could get rigid pendolinos, which will sometimes go on platform one or might go on platform six. So you might go bold over, so you've got to be careful on that. So I did that most of my stint there, but then I went across over to platforms one and two and got some filming on that side as well. 
then afterwards um, I decided to go on the Merseywell uh, network to Liverpool South Parkway station now the tickets I bought which is just bear me a minute I should get the ticket out show what I bought there is, here we go you might be able to see it, but you might not but that is the Cheshire Day Witcher ticket now that ticket only cost me £16.15 but it's also valid on some of the lines on the Merseywell network which means you go to like um, West Kirkby, you go to New Brighton and uh, New Brighton as well um, so yeah that was really good so yeah uh, got to Liverpool South Parkway we had a fantastic stint there uh, we got Vision Trains Pendolinos going fast through the station we got London North Western Railway's new services to London Euston via Birmingham New Street uh, cause of most intermediate stations along, along the way and the journey time is around about 4 hours um, on their diagram but I think the highlights have to be what's that 37 um, caught me off on the way 37611 uh, was dragging uh, Northern class 331, uh, 331 108 to Neville Hill. However, it had issues, so it was brought back to Alton Depot. I think tonight it's going back to Neville Hill because ne uh, I think from 1st of July, their new trains will be entering service. I think the 331s, uh, they're going to be based on the leads to Doncaster diagrams, and the rest probably. I'm guessing what about the Manchester region, maybe Liverpool as well. Because uh, I think the two, three, two, threes the Northern has got um, might be going off lease to West Midlands trains in the future. So anyway, uh, yeah, Liverpool South Parkway, brilliant station, highly recommend it. Um, then we went uh, to James Street. Again on the Merseywell network. Uh, that was a really good. Again, uh, nice smooth ride. Uh, did a little bit sightseeing. Uh, went to Princess Dock. Well, it's got a fantastic cruise line there. Uh, a fantastic cruise line ship. Uh, which was being prepared for its uh, departure. No idea where it's going. I did have time to see it sadly. Then afterwards. Um, we got did some more bashing on the Merseywell. Um, I tried to go to new station. Uh, Bidston was a new one. Uh, really nice station actually, Bidston. Um, very quiet as well. Quiet as in you know in like a peaceful surrounding. Normally I don't mean about the train traffic. Uh, but yeah, it was good seeing Transport for Wales operating. On their services to Wrexham. Speaking of transport for Wales, uh, they now, just while I mention again, they now operate between Liverpool Lime Street and Chester via Runcorn. So that is a bonus. So you've got a choice, you can catch the Merseywell or you could catch transport for Wales. Your choice. Um, but that was, but again, you know, Bedster was a good station. Then we Caught the Roosevelt train just back to Lime Street, and then from there, just got myself a drink, got myself a bite to eat, and just caught the final departure from Liverpool, the last train to Scarborough, which was the 1956 Transpennine service all the way back to Scarborough. We were a little bit delayed, and uh, that's because I think we're following a late running stopper train uh, between Manchester, Piccadilly, and Huddersfield. So we were a bit held up then. But apart from that, yeah, it was a nice, quiet, smooth ride. And no problems at all. All in all, the day has gone fantastically well. So, thank you very much for watching this one. You can follow me on Twitter, and that was Wiki. All links are in the description below. And um, Flickr page, Rick Nowis, Instagram, RCM Photography. 
and Facebook page, which is Wikivel Sharing Community. So, until the next outing, I'll see you all then.